Hi guys, it's me, Melissa. How are you? Hope you guys are all doing good. Um, today is the 27th of February, 2020. Today is our daily draw. I just got a message from a dear friend of mine. Um, been a friend for a really long time. So I want to include this person in the reading tonight. Um, so it's going to be for us and it's also going to be for this person. So no names are ever mentioned. Um, it's only between me and the person requesting. So tonight's going to be a special one. So I love you guys. So let's get on with our daily reading. I'm going to read from two decks tonight. Um, the first one is going to be Angels in Abundance Oracle Cards. There's the box. And the other one I just feel drawn to tonight is um, Oracles of Shadows and Light. And that's the box for that one. So let's start with the Angels of Abundance Oracle. Okay. Angels, Guides, and Spirits. Tell me what my viewers need to know today, February 27th, 2020, and my dear friend. Angels, guides, and spirits. Come to me right now. Come to me. Let me know what it is that you need to know today. We got three cards, guys. On this pull. So the first one is release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something. And the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's success inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, you can too. Okay, so there's that card. The next one is positivity, faith, and optimism. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on now. Keep the faith and keep going. I lied. We have four cards, guys. Organize for success. Do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organize your thoughts your records, your living and workspace, and your finances will help you know and plan your next step of action. The last card, God is your source. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God. And your faith opens the door to receive. In God, there is no lack or intimidation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. And there's the card. So what I see with these cards, guys, is one, 
for anything to manifest, for anything to happen, one, we can't have jealousy towards other people. Other people's success is not our success, no matter what. We have to wipe it out, you know, wipe out that feeling. Um, so what if the guy down the street has a brand new Corvette? You know, if you want it bad enough, you can manifest it. You just have to put those steps in, those steps in place. You have to, there's steps for everything that we need to do. Um, we need to have that positive activity and that, um, the faith in our God or whatever source that we believe in. Okay, there's a higher being. Everybody has to believe in something um, for things to manifest is how I look at it. Atheists might think differently, but that's, my own personal belief. Um, so we look to that higher source. We look to God and we say to ourselves, we ask for the, he's not going to just hand it to us on a silver platter. You know, he's going to give us the tools that we need to succeed. He's going to give us those tools. For some reason, we all go through setbacks in life, um, and we have to look at those setbacks as a learning tool. Um, I know it's hard in the moment, but that learning tool is the tool that we have. That it, For some reason, it's showing us something, okay? It's showing us what steps we need to take, okay? <clears throat> so carefully look. Carefully um, look at signs. There's signs all over the place. If you don't see signs, then ask. You know, ask our higher being, what are the signs that we need now so that we can manifest what we want in our lives, okay? Keep the faith, keep the optimism, keep things positive. But we have to organize it, okay? Organization is key to everything. Um, things that worked before, sometimes aren't going to work now. So we have to look at different avenues and different things because life changes. Life is constantly changing. You know, if you had a business 20 years ago, it's not the same business. Is it, there's not, it's not the same tools that you need to run the business that you did 20 years ago. Okay? You, the record keeping is different than 20 years ago. You know, so... We have to look at those steps. Progress, okay? Progression is key. So that is Angels in Abundance. That's what I get from that deck. Okay, let's go on to the next deck, deck the Shadows of Light. What did I do with the box? There it is. <clears throat> and see what that's going to tell us um, today. Let's put that one away. Oh, Kitten thinks he's helping today. Come here, you're good luck. <laughs> he's the one on my video. My ending video that stands at the end. My little George. Okay. Let's get these ones a quick shuffle. Angels, guides, spirits, tell us what my viewers need to know. Come to me. Let us know what we need to know. Today, February 27th, 
They have three cards in this deck, too. Okay. Pink Lotus Fairy. A time for spirit. Wow. Time for spirit, guys. What would the last deck say? Eclipse Mermaid. A powerful energy shift. It's interesting. Dress of alchemy. Release your power. So these cards are pretty much saying pretty much the same thing as the last ones. Let me do a little reading on, on those, though, just to see it. If for some reason there's something different that we may get out of this, okay? <clears throat> All right, so let's start with 10. Eclipse Mermaid. A powerful energy shift. A deeply emotional energy shift akin to that of a powerful, full eclipse. It is taking place in your life. There could be revelations, scandal, and truths being told to you at this time. And you may feel the urge to change what you eat, how you look and dress, how you express yourself, what classes you take, who to hang out with, and... <clears throat> what you thought you wanted to do with your life. If you are on the path, <clears throat> your own soul path, everything that takes place will be good and right, even if it is disruptive. If you have not placed your feet on the path, this time may feel more disruptive and, <clears throat> and surprising. Any change at this time will bring you closer to who you truly are. It is up to each of us to choose how we move through an eclipse. Only one thing is certain. Resistance is frugal. Another thing I want to mention, too, is we are in um, retrograde right now. Um, so that energy is chaotic right now. Um, the moon energy. So just another thing I want to put out there. Okay, let's um, read about 33. Please take the time to clear from your own sacred energy field, jealousy, envy, fear, and guilt. Once you are clear, welcome in bright, strong, powerful, healthy energy. After this has taken place, expect symbols and signs to pour in. Guys, that's amazing. It, it's just like the last card. It's, you know, we have that message to clear all that unwanted energy so that we can bring in that healthy energy. And once we bring in that health, healthy energy, the signs are going to start to pour in. <clears throat> you know, when your energy is strong and bright, when you come from a place of love, courage, and wisdom, you will attract the right signs and will not be misled. Do not expect to have no change after her arrival. Relationships and situations based on ego <clears throat> Ego-centered concepts containing toxic energies will fall away naturally and you will now ask for your worth. This is not hubris. <clears throat> it is self-love in action. So, we have a powerful energy shift. Okay, that's the retrograde. <clears throat> that is, and then we have the release of your power. So we need to release the negativity to bring in the correct energy so that we can see, see those signs. 
okay? I'm not even going to read this one. Time for spirit. What'd the last one say? What'd the last card say? They said, get into your spirit. Go to the higher being. Okay? He's got, they got the signs. He's got the signs. She's got the signs. Whoever our higher being is, has the signs. They want to give them to you, but we need to release that jealousy, that envy, that negativity. Okay? Release up. Hope you guys like this reading. I thought it was an awesome reading. I love you guys. You guys mean the world to me. Um, I just want to say, we're almost to our goal, guys. 19 more subscribers, guys. And we hit 1,000. That's my goal. Okay, guys? Keep on subscribing. Keep on hitting that like button. Let's get there, okay? And I'm going to have an awesome giveaway, okay? I don't know what yet, but we're going to have one, okay? I love you guys. Thank you for all that you do for me.